Our vision through the BCRPA Everybody Active Initiative um, is to have a City of Salmon Arm policy that allows people that are on um, low income uh, the opportunity to use recreation facilities. The Salmon Arm, like all communities, needs to be more inclusive and I think it's important that we move towards policies that create opportunities for people, all people in Salmon Arm, older, younger, that need assistance or uh, direction on how they can find recreation and, and uh, uh, athletic and, and sports programs or, or any other programs that would make them part more part of the community, make them feel more included. We identified that there was a huge need that people living on low income were not given equal opportunity to use the recreation facility. Prior to this initiative starting, the only um, concession that was allowed in Salmon Arm for um, people that are living on low income or disabilities was to offer people that were have a disability to into recreation facilities and they allowed their caregiver a free access. Because I moved to Salmon Arm I had to give up my full-time job at Edmonton and there hasn't been a lot of employment opportunities suitable to my work skills. So as I look for employment I have to be careful with my budget. I do believe that people that are living on low income are set back in what they are able to accomplish because there is no existing policy, there is no existing program in place to allow people the opportunity to come into this recreation facility um, at no charge or with a reduced fee. And we sort of did a quick evaluation and said yes, it's a definitely a need in Salmon Arm. And so we evaluated on what we could, um, what kinds of things we would be able to accomplish and what kinds of things we wanted to do and we um, went from there. I think that an organization such as ours uh, needs to have dedicated and passionate employees to carry it through um, because it, it, it takes a lot of energy and starting over and starting over to make it it uh, come to fruition. My persistence has paid off because I was unable to have group meetings and so I had to work with each stakeholder individually and they're just too busy to come to another meeting in their day and so I just spent the time emailing, talking on the phone, meeting in person and just dealing with each person individually and it was worked out very well and uh, it's people like Donna and Dale who uh, stand behind it as well and are great uh, advocates for it. So I'm hoping that we can move it forward in the new year. I started the, um, the initiative by identifying very quickly that I am not an expert in this field and felt very quickly early on in the game that I needed to get a lot of help and I did that by being in a small town, networking with the people that I knew and from there getting a bigger network by constantly adding to that network and that has been hugely important. Uh, Donna came to our committee uh, earlier this year, I think it was about uh, April or May and, and she gave her first pitch and, and uh, Donna herself wasn't quite sure what she was after and we didn't we weren't quite sure what she was after as a committee and then to Donna's credit she's really pursued this vigorously. The organizations that were really really important uh, as far as the networking um, part of it were Canadian Mental Health Association, the Interior Health which also has a mental health um, division, the Safe Society which deals with the um, uh, Safe Society House for, for Women, and um, ASILA, which is short for in, uh, Shushwap Independent Living Association, so it's a housing uh, um, organization that helps people find housing. They were very, very key people in helping me move forward, as well as uh, there's um, 
downtown activity center is an activity center that really is in the downtown core that helps people that are living on lower incomes and offers recreation programs for them. Uh, going through the different agencies that she had to go to to get the information to, to the clients that we have today was her biggest challenge. Easily the, the largest stumbling block in any municipality is funding. Making sure that there's money available and having people on staff and in the community. Uh, the grants from the BCRPA uh, allowed us to have the money to initiate this program uh, in, a, in such a manner that it would get to the, the step that we're at now. Uh, I think uh, in the heart of every councillor there we want everybody to be included. Unfortunately, at budget time, it means money is discussed and uh, new initiatives often are not considered because uh, you, that way you're not cutting services and uh, because the services never existed before, so you're not cutting anything. So getting it off the ground is a really important first step and that's, that's the point where our, we are in Salmon Arm right now and, and uh, it's my job to uh, convince council that it's a good idea and that we should pursue it. The, the next step is to um, work towards getting the City of Salmon Arm to um, approve a policy. I think it's really important to have community involvement when you're trying to have a policy to get the stakeholders on board and to uh, have their support and to get the views of a lot of different people. Move it forward to uh, have an inclusion policy where we can uh, make sure that people who don't have opportunities for recreation have better access to ac recreation in Salmon Arm. I think people um, in the community really need to understand that um, people who have maybe been marginalized within the community um, also need to feel they belong. Yeah.